This is a case of uh, hepatobiliary pathology in which I have frozen an image to show you that uh, this is the liver and uh, this is the gallbladder. This is the anterior wall of the gallbladder. This is the lumen of the gallbladder. The only, uh, it's clear internally. And there is a stone that has, that is being seen impacted in the neck of the GB. This is the neck of the GB which is protruding into the right hepatic duct. This is the right hepatic duct. And uh, because of this, the uh, <coughs> intrahepatic ducts are seen dilated. In this view, in this view, this is the region where you can see the intrahepatic dilated ducts. This is the portal vein, the inferior vena cava. So now let's study it on real time. Now you see this is the uh, stone. Again, this is the gallbladder. This is the calculus. This is the right hepatic duct. So it is measuring approximately 16.8 uh, millimeters, and it is uh, protruding into the right hepatic, uh, uh, producing pressure on the right hepatic duct and the right hepatic duct is dilated, which is this one. And uh, this is the neck of the gallbladder. This is the portal vein, and here you can see the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts. Uh, now, to show you further the degree of dilation, these are all, this is, again, the dilation of the bile ducts seen in this view. So, it's also dilated at the bile ducts are dilated at all levels. This is the left lobe of the liver and the ducts are dilated uh, in that this level as well. So the intrahepatic bile ducts are dilated up at all levels. They reach the periphery of the liver and the cause is this. Uh, now you see in this view you will see that this is the portal vein and this is the hepatic artery whereas you will be able to see the dilated ducts as well now. Sarvoclerular Now let's uh, see the uh, status of the hepatic artery. This is the waveform of the hepatic artery. And uh, hepatic artery resistive index is 0.88, is raised, highly raised, and SD ratio is 8.50. So it's highly raised. Okay. So now this finding is very much consistent with uh, Myrizi syndrome. Now if you see there are two tubular structures here. This is the portal vein. However, this is the right hepatic duct. The COP CBD is not dilated at the, uh, uh, below the level of obstruction. There is no dilation of the CBD. This is the portal vein. This is the extra hepatic. This is the uh, common bile duct measuring approximately six millimeters and however here if you see it's a bit clear in this view that this is the gallbladder the calculus the you can see from here the common bile duct is dilated this is the this is not the duct this is the portal vein and this is the duct so <coughs> This is a case of Myrizi syndrome. Now note Panji Saroklo Sani Lana Sani Lana Again the hepatic artery Sana Lava Panji Sorry, this Saroko. Okay, wait. 
let's see the pressure of the outer vein. It's almost uh, 16.5 centimeter per second and is with a normal. Now, if, let's see the gallbladder. Now, this is the gallbladder in front of you. See its wall. A wall is, outer wall is muffled with the adjacent liver parenchyma and uh, the wall is thick as well, approximately measuring 7.1 uh, mm, so thick wall, uh, muffled, uh, thick wall, it's hypopoic and the margins are muffled with the adjacent liver parenchyma and it's big. So, and this is the other, this is the Marezi syndrome Marinu syndrome means that this is a, there is a calculus in the neck when uh, entering into the cystic duct, dilating the right hepatic duct. This is the right hepatic duct, portal vein, and uh, this is the say, this is the gallbladder, this is the liver, this is the liver. Now this is also this is portal vein, this is also portal vein. These are not dilated ducts. This is the right hepatic duct, this one, this tubular structure is dilated right hepatic duct and we saw uh, intrahepatic bile duct ectasia at all level. This is the stone. <coughs> Not only this, now you see I am going to show you the outer surface of the liver. The outer surface of the liver is irregular. Wait for a while. Let me get it for you. If you see the outer surface, it's irregular. It's irregular nodular. See The liver is thus serotic in fact. This is a cirrhotic liver, and here you can see the liver parenchyma showing coarseness because of latacinia, because of which there is fluid seen surrounding the outer surface of the liver. Fluid is seen uh, in the Morrison's pouch in the hepatorenal angle. Uh, now here you, this is the fluid. This is the fluid, this is liver that is uh, seen around the, uh, extending around the liver. Non not only that, this is the fluid in the hepatorenal angle entering into the Morrison's pulp. This is the ascitic fluid, this one, this is the all ascitic fluid. And uh, fluid is also seen in the dependent region, peritoneal cavity. Here, you see, this is the uterus in transfer section. This is the uterus in transfer section. Rest, this is the cytis. This is the cytic fluid. This is the urinary bladder. This is the uterus. And this is the cytic fluid. These are the bubbles floating in it. So, this is a case of cirrhotic liver with uh, ascites, Marizi syndrome as a cause of uh, obstructive jaundice in this uh, patient under study. This is the left lobe of the uh, liver and uh, you can very well again see the outer surface. I wish to show you from here. See the outer surface of the liver. It's irregular. This is the outer surface of the liver, it is irregular, it is surrounded by fluid. So a case of uh, cirrhosis, ascites is because of that and uh, rest uh, was our initial study relating to Myrizi syndrome. Here we are. And because of that, the hepatic artery shows increased resistive index and this is our case of the day. 
Thank you very much.